Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome. My name is Bemi Abiola, and thank you for taking the time out of your day by clicking to watch my video. Also, if you haven't done so already, I would appreciate it if you would tap that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel, as well as the notification button, so you don't miss any videos from me. So today I'm going to be doing my one month update and final review on this hair. This hair is from Eunice Hair and how I got the custom blue teal color. So if you're interested, please keep on watching and if you're not, please stop right here. Click out of this video, it's not worth your time and effort. So let's get into the review. So I did an initial review on this hair when I first got it. I did an unboxing and everything, so I'll link that down below if you're interested to see what it looks like in its natural state before it's been bleached, altered, or anything. So like I said before, this hair is from Eunice Hair. This is their Brazilian Body Wave hair. I have four bundles and a frontal in that I made into a unit and I custom colored to this color. For this color, I used a 2 to 1 ratio of Adore Aquamarine to indigo blue so I did two aquamarine to one indigo blue. I wasn't expecting it to be this color when it came out. I wanted it to be more on the aquamarine side with hints of indigo blue but it didn't turn out that way but I'm not mad at it at all. I'm really not mad at how the color came out and I actually really really love it. Yeah this hair took forever and a day to make color bleach that just took forever. So I originally wanted my hair to have dark roots to about there. Sorry, I'm trying to look in my mirror. So I wanted my dark roots to be about there. So maybe about two inches of dark roots. Um, that didn't happen. When I was bleaching my frontal, bleaching a frontal is annoying. I, it's annoying, annoying. Um, I wanted to have at least two inches of dark roots. But when I was bleaching, I messed up. So some places had bleached fully to the roots, other places had one inch, other had other places had an inch and a half, others had two, others had three. It just got really, really annoying. So I bleached it fully through, all the way through, so the entire frontal had been bleached. Even the lace, all the way down to the knots, everything. Everything was bleached. And that, that ended up being a level of seven or eight after I fully bleached it. And then the bundles, I ended up having to bleach three times. The first time was great. I ended up leaving about two and a half inches of dark roots. Sorry y'all, the phone decided to ring. For the bundles, I actually had to bleach three times. So for the first time, I left about two and a half inches of dark roots. Um, which they ended up being really, really great. It turned out great. Bleaching bundles wasn't the problem. So I got that maybe about to a level eight or nine, which was fine by me. I liked the way it turned out, but um, I missed some places. So I had some dark patches in there. Um, so I had to go back in and bleach again to get rid of the dark patches. So that was the second bleaching. And I conditioned in between each bleaching. So I would leave it for a couple days in, in silicon mix. That's what I used to condition my hair, my wigs, um, just so it can maintain its integrity and doesn't break and stuff like that. So I bleached the dark patches out and then literally just let it sit in uh, silicon mix again. And then because I had bleached the frontal all the way through, I had to go back in for a third time and bleach the dark roots so that it was uniformly blonde all through. Um, so yeah, uh, that's what I did. So I ended up bleaching the hair three times. And it still maintained its integrity, the hair maintained its integrity. But the thing is, when I bleached it, the body wave pattern just turned into straight hair. It broke that pattern, so it didn't really do anything. So yeah, it, the body wave didn't maintain its pattern. Which, I mean, I'm perfectly fine with because I curl my hair anyway, so. So, when I dyed it, um, like I said, I wanted it to be a lot lighter, but it didn't end up like that. And it ended up like this. Like, as you can see, like, underneath ended up being more aquam aquamarine, cerulean blue. And then, like, there are some indigo pieces and 
actual like full cerulean pieces and I'm not mad at it I actually really like it because it adds dimension to my hair and I also have some green pieces up here by my roots it took more of the aquamarine color which I'm perfectly fine with so I'm not mad at all that it took the lighter of the two colors um the only thing though is that since I bleached the frontal all the way through and, I, and then I dyed it, the lace ended up turning blue. I went in twice with color remover to remove it. Didn't want to come off. So I'm actually wearing a nude wig cap underneath and then I dusted my foundation under the lace um, on the cap and then on the lace. So it would blend. Still have to fix it though. As you can see, you can probably see it, but I'm still gonna fix it again. Um, for this hair, I curled it using my Bombay 5-in-1 curling wand, and I used the 19 millimeter barrel um, for that. So I just used that for that, and I did flat curls. I didn't twist the curls, so yeah, that's what I did. This hair has, it's really, really nice. It doesn't shed. I've blow dried it several times. I've washed it several times, curled it several times with different curling wands, and it's maintained. I've worn it straight, so it's great. Um, I haven't had any problems with it at all. Um, the only problem I have with it is that um, if I'm running my hands through it, my hair, my fingertips will turn blue, but it ends up washing off when I wash my hands. So otherwise, other than those, I haven't had any problems with this hair. I love the color. I love how it feels. I want to make a another color of this wig but I think I'm gonna do another blonde wig or just do a black one like this uh, but I haven't had any problems with this hair this hair was super cheap like I mentioned like so I feel like this is one of the best hair companies I've ever tried for hair that's cheap and affordable that I feel like everyone has talked about on YouTube everyone loves doing this hair on YouTube pretty much so um, yeah, I bought mine off of their actual website, not their AliExpress website, so I didn't have any issues with that. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my final review. I'll probably do a couple updates, probably like in a month, two months, three months time, about how I still feel about this hair. Um, so yeah, thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are, and I'll see you guys later. Bye guys!